Hello, I'm Nick Flanagan, and welcome to my world. It's a world where I babble incoherently about the famous in an attempt to hang on to my gig as this video columnist. It's a good gig. You have free donuts and croissants. Okay, so it's not quite the world Jennifer Connelly lives in in Labyrinth. I mean, Bowie's pants cigar is nowhere to be seen. And in the good news department, the famous pictures of Oscar de la Hoya, the boxer, wearing fishnets have been proven to be fake. As long as those piercing blue eyes aren't fake, De La Hoya can wear whatever he wants. Except for the skin of my relative. Oh, okay, you got me, even that. In the bad news department, George Foreman's short-lived sitcom George has been released on DVD. Or, should I say, doo-doo VD. It does come with the free poster of a grill, so, you know, you could look at that. And now for Canadian Corner. Item. Michael Buble is a great singer. But did you know he's also a great singer? Word around the campfire is that he had a barbecue at Paul Anka's house and set the band Big Bad Voodoo Daddy on fire. Later that night, him and Paul sang a duet called Digging a Mass Grave. And earlier in the day, he had uh, given some undercooked chicken to Cherry Pop and Daddy's. They were in the toilet for days. Nee, that's what I call a swing band movement. And now I review a movie trailer while you pretend to care. The tightly edited together film advertisement I saw this week was for the film Righteous Kill, featuring the two worst actors of our generation, Robert DiPacino and Al De Niro's. As well as notorious heavy Brian Dennehy. Guess somebody finally took a break from harassing Rambo? About time. Unfortunately, John the Pest Leguizamo also shows up. This movie is basically the bucket list with badges. In other words, I will see it on opening day, at the earliest showing possible, because that is the cheapest showing. And I'm on a budget. I give Righteous Kill 45 who ahs 62, you're talking to me, who you talking to? Me, I'm talking to you. 16, say hello to the friend of the bad guy. And 12, I could have been a contender. Totaling. 37 thumbs. Well, good night, folks, and remember to tune in next time when, in an examination of prop culture, I dissect Gallagher's body.